Spotify Studio is a software that supports people who want to live broadcast sports. The three main features of Camera Fi Studio are the sports scoreboard, real time captioning, and event sharing. Today's video will tell you how to use the scoreboard feature. Let's get started. First, let's access Camera Fi Studio. You can access Camera Fi Studio by searching in the web browser. Simply enter the Camera Fi Studio on the web search box. Please note that there is a link in the YouTube video description as well. You can also download and use the app from the Google Play Store. When you access Camera Fi Studio, signing in is required to use all services. Please tap My on the bottom navigation bar or click the Sign In button on the main page. If you log in with Gmail, it is easier to link with Camera Fi Live, so we recommend using Gmail. Once you're logged in, let's start creating the scoreboard. To make a scoreboard, you have to create a match first. Tap the plus button on the bottom navigation bar and tap scoreboard. In the case of the tablet and desktop, there are two ways to create a match. You can click the scoreboard button on the main page or go to the side menu and tap scoreboard. Come back to the mobile and you can see the create match page. On this page, you have to add information about the sports match. Before typing the information, set the privacy on the upper right side. After you set the privacy settings, let's take a look at the match info. First, you have to select sports type. Camera Fi Studio supports more than 10 types of sports and you can see all of them on the drop-down. Depending on the selected type, the supported scoreboards will vary. Select the type you want. I'll choose baseball. The next field is player type. This feature allows users to select the intended players for this game. I'll choose club. Then, fill in the match title, match date, start time, and match status. Finally, move to the team info and fill in the home and away team's information. You can add the team's logos and player information. If you create a team in advance, you can enter the team's and player's information at once through the import team feature. If you have a designated team, you can create it in my channel, Team Tab. Please check the link in the description for how to add a team. Tap Create and Match is created. If you just want to use the scoreboard, simply enter the match title in the match info and tap Create. It's time to set a scoreboard. The widget button on the top right side of the screen. You can see Start button and this button can easily change the status of your match. Under the Status button, you can see the Stick to Top Up Stick option. If you turn this on, the preview will follow your scroll so you can easily check whether your setting adjusts to the widget properly. I'll turn this off. On the Preview section, you can select the widget that you want to check the preview. Under the Preview, you can see the URL settings. Tap the Change icon next to the X icon and you can check many scoreboards or lineup designs. The scoreboard designs will change depending on the sports time you set. If you want to use more widgets, there are two ways to add them. First, tap Add URL next to the URL setting title. You can see that the new URL is created. Second, tap Add Widget under the widgets. Choose the style and you can add a widget to a URL, and this allows user to use multiple overlays with a URL. Under the URL settings, you can see the control, theme, load tabs. Go to the theme tab. You can set the match title, phone size, team name, color, logo, and custom CSS. In particular, you can personalize the basic scoreboard provided by Camera Fi Studio with custom CSS. Detailed tutorials about the CSS are explained on the Camera Fi blog, so please refer to it. Created matches can be added in my channel. Go to the main page, tap my on the bottom navigation bar. In my channel, you can see and edit all the content you've made in the Camera Fi Studio. Tap the third icon of the match you want to edit, and you can edit the match and widget with Edit Match Info and Widget. Or you can select your match and tap Edit or Widget in the top right corner. How was the video? I hope that all the contents are helpful for you to understand the scoreboard function. The next video will cover how to easily apply a scoreboard overlay to your live broadcast by connecting Camerafy Studio to Camerafy Live. 
For any features not fully covered in the video, please check out the Camera 5 Blow tutorial. Don't forget to click subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting tutorials. See you soon in the next video.